Hi Pisces and welcome to your June 2023 read. Okay, so let's get started. This read is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. All right, what is going on Pisces? These cards are just like talking to me. So let's see. Wow, look at this, right? Owning your power, rightful place of power, is working hard, is studying hard, is doing research that is definitely going to pay off if it hasn't already, right? We're making money, we're, money's coming in, you're working hard for your money, and you're like, hey, I'm protecting that which is rightfully mine. It's not just about the money. It's about how we are perceived when we do have the money. And the perception of others isn't really the issue here as much as, as you're standing your ground with how others would or wouldn't dictate, you know, you should put, you know, don't put your eggs in one basket. Let's diversify, which you probably are doing. It's about creating a master plan is what they're saying. Okay. Creating a master plan in order to have the vision of a future of retirement money, a nice nest egg, saving for um, not only a rainy day, but maybe for a big purchase, um, working hard. I mean, this is what you do. And it's, they're saying almost effortless. When you work hard, you receive what the universe wants to give you, no matter what, right? Your seeing yourself now as more empowered because of where you've been and how much you've learned and how much you've grown and now you're you understand the value that you're placing on your own self is the highest standard and standards perhaps of living lifestyle or just understanding how worthy you are to yourself and to others okay let's get i'm going to get the vice versa deck here let's get three cards for you that would tie in beautifully with what's going on you know in your life in your home life your work life etc look at this I mean, master, are you kidding? Master of your own domain. What? Saving. This immediately came to me as you're saving your money. You're smart. You're not letting, like, it's gonna, it's a general, but it's good. It's, you're not letting, you know, others influencing you, influence you or, and, or you have learned the value and the art of this of saving of of learning how to save it could be a father figure it could be just the wisdom of the maturity with which you have gained the influence of the influences of what we learn during the course of time right shows us such great of uh, it's of such great importance right maturity has so much life experience and makes us instead of reactive very calm a calming effect has ensued for those who already know how hard they've worked, they've earned their keep, the wisdom that they, um, the wisdom to 
observe others and how they react is also a course of action, which now you've taken it to another level. Your level is different than those who react so carelessly. Some of you are not careless with your money. Some of you have matured to the point where you're like, wait a second, I have to put certain things in different, you know, baskets, right? These are, right, the baskets of where we put our value in. And we're very calm in doing so because we know that the gift, the gifts that we receive of not only financial abundance, but the gifts that are within, within, without, right? That allows us the maturity to, to gain the maturity. And that's what life teaches us, right? The maturity to know better and the maturity to go out there and do what it is that we need to do, right? We now emotionally set a new course of direction, a directive of a new course emotionally because we know what we need to release emotionally from those people who react out of sorts, those people who take advantage, those people who may understand how hard we work, but still, no doubt, come at you with, you know, emotional tendencies of, you know, manipulation, right? And when that happens, now, instead of, you know, outright reacting, let's say these people come to you and it's like, listen, you know, you're not saying you know, I can't, I won't, I don't have, etc. You're saying now in a very calm, calming effect, um, you're going to have to, you're going to have to learn on your own. You're going to have to seek your own counsel. You're going to have to feel your way through your, your own financial situations because when I'm no longer here, who will you turn to? Right? Says the wise soul. It is all about learning and sharing that knowledge with whomever here is still in, you know, dealing with the old adage of time is money and you have to work hard and play hard and all of those things. It's not that you don't work hard for your money, but it's not the end all be all because you are saving, you're investing, you're doing the things that now the maturity has leveled you up to do in order to walk away from those people who are bound by that materialistic 3D world you have risen to a, this 4D here and saying, you know, I know now that I have all that I need and will definitely continue um, having all that I need no matter what. <clears throat> That's the, the 4D mentality versus the 3D. The 3D is like, oh my God, I'm going to go and spend and, you know, and have all that I you have all that you want and need, right? There's, of course, that materialism that comes with, you know, the hard work and the price that you pay. But in essence, when we mature and we understand that life, the life experiences that we have had up until this point is life's too short, you know, uh, you can't hold on to it all, but you can invest a percentage, right? 40% maybe out of your, out of your paycheck goes now to more diversification of your funds and, and sharing your time and energy with those who come at you 
with a degree of immaturity is like, uh, no, we're not, we're not going there. Right? Okay. It's a beautiful, this is beautiful because that's what you've been dealing with for a while. So what happens? Your, your higher self is the wise one now looks out upon the, you know, not only the children, but also upon the entire nation of children. And this is a br very huge, broader scope of, of maturity where you have perhaps, for some, changed your belief systems over the course of time. And now you're working on a new level of teaching your children and others the things that you have learned and invested for. You are in the back in the back of this um, depiction of this card is the key. The master holds it's the key to mastering your own self value and worth is not only about the wisdom of the 4D, knowing not to react and knowing that everything works out, no matter what happens, who comes and goes. We understand that now this is something for some of you Pisceans, beautiful Pisceans, descrip describing it as you have taught those people or you will be teaching those people those people and these are the children of your children and the children of the world where they're going to have to learn as well this is huge right this is not going to school for accounting 101 this is this is life right this is a life in session that you you can look back and say and to your kids, what you have valued, what you have worked hard for, what you have learned in doing so. And the people that react are the ones that still have some growing to do. And when you have, you know, children here, the child within you already knows that you've been through a time where it was emotionally uh, up for grabs and you're learning, you're growing, you are maturing. And in June, a lot of you will be meeting with, let's say a financial advisor to go over, which could be this also depicted a financial advisor showing you right the way forward now after certain things in your life have been maybe loved and lost people places and or things we have walked away from a lot of these the th people places and things that have stalled us that have made us hurt to the point where you know we haven't Taking it, taking it upon ourselves to think about our future and the endeavors that make us more come into our own and wiser. This is a child who still reacts, and here's the wise one. So, you this could be for those of you who are fathers, could be a father son connect here that is trying to teach you know, their kids about, about when I'm gone, what are you going to do? Or someone may be dealing with a father figure that is gone and it is your undertaking either as, you know, someone who's in charge and totally invested in, in, sharing your knowledge, sharing your life experiences with others so that they understand when you're gone, right? That this will be the indication of how they will teach theirs and so on, right? The ancestral lineage continues here. But 
for no other and most beautiful reasons of um, not being tied and bound to the physical world. Because as you can see, this is as the implication of these cards. They come from the lower 3D into the 4D and then into the all. This is a beautiful depiction of how we mature. The Pisces, we what a read. What a beautiful depiction of starting out at the 3D, working toward that which, which we understand, working hard on the 3D in order to uh, gain, you know, a beautiful depiction of our worth, uh, earnings, right? And then those who will or will not understand you're leveling up and owning it, so to speak, by changing your your belief systems and or up rising to a new level of understanding, which is diver diversification as well as 5D higher consciousness saying, yeah, um, now that I've learned these valuable, valuable lessons of of what I value, who I value, how I go about my day-to-day -day from a 4D, let's say, experience up to leveling up and when I'm gone, sharing that with those who are not as fortunate in terms of maybe someone who has left the physical plane, the body has left but has ascended into heaven and understands now that should someone leave or be no longer here on the earth plane you know th these are lessons and values that one needs to put into place not for any other reason but for others life lessons to be learned through your example it's beautiful okay let me take one more card on this read Look at that, same card, how beautiful. Seven of wands is your, is what you are, you are or have been or will be dealing with. Those who don't understand, those who keep trying to get what they can, they don't understand, they try to get what they can in order to take you off the rails, get you confused about like, right? Making you feel guilty. All of these actions are reactions because you're leveling up and they're still on the 3D plane. Understand that's the divide, unfortunately, right? One conquers and divides because they don't understand the level of playing field which you have ascended to, 4D, 5D. We must explain, we must express, we must show, more importantly, show how these things now matter to you in order to teach those who don't and they fall off the grid because all they see is this they don't see they don't they don't hold on they don't see this okay it happens every day it happens in families it happens in in work at work, it happens everywhere because everything in the th in the unfortunate Western Western mentality is all about. <clears throat> see, look at I'm losing my. Is all about the men the mentality of the power of the dollar. And when the dollar has no power, what will they do? What will they do? So let's. Let's really preface to say that those 
those of us who need to show others how to invest wisely, how to diversify, how to not put all your eggs in one basket is all about learning and growing and using your masculine and feminine in a way that you will understand. That getting the power and using the power are two separate things, conquering and dividing. So we have the eighth house, of course, um, which is death and dying, right? It's life or death issues. Are these life and death issues or were they life and death issues that now we've come to a new understanding of, hey, when I'm not around, this is, you know, you're going to have to be on your own. You're going to have to deal. The South Node, absolutely. Flipping the switch. What is it that we remember or we need to remember? The moon, our feelings, and the nurturing of the feminine that needs to take place in order for the masculine to balance out life, life resources, and the power of the yin and the yang. There will be, of course, as I mentioned, those who react, right? Those seven of wands are people who react to the um, issues that they can't handle. Who defends, who accepts, who sees it as trouble, and who sees it as anxiety, and who sees it as a mis the mystery of life, and the changes that happen for the better of humanity on, on not only our day-to-day, -day, but also our overall picture. It's very important to understand how we were brought up and how we can change the course of our lives by changing just the thought that the power of what we've learned to be just the money, the physical, the tangible on the 3D world is not necessarily the power that creates a 4D outlook to help others, to be more compassionate of those that sacrifice and work really hard and not to be always having people come at you because you have, you know, the wallet but you also have the wherewithal to know better when these people are starting to come and react because they're out of control. Because they don't have that higher knowledge of 4D, 5D understanding where 5D it's like, hey, there are no limitations. And I understand and own that what choices I make here and what I leave to whomever is going to have to deal. And that's, for, for most right now, is your job to teach and to represent that which you have learned to those you love. It, and it gives you, a, and get, you gain respect from others when doing this right? Your kids, the people you deal with, the people you work with. It's really important. And what you're doing, Pisces, you by leveling up and understanding the value of the power of your own self, respect, identity, worth. Have a great month. And if you need me, I'm here. Please comment and let me know. Take care.